Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spock Country. We're going to solve a Mutant Monday, where we'll be covering Ten Lives of Wolverine, number three. Where we left off in Ten Lives, number two. Um, Wolverine, while uh, traveling through time to prevent Omega Red from trying to kill, prevent the creation of Krakoa, um, ended up in post-war Japan with Itsu, his wife at the time, who was also the mother of his son, Dakin. And Itsu had been possessed by Omega Red, as it's a, the time travel is more meant, more time traveling essence as opposed to time traveling person. So, yeah. Which, similar in manner to the time travel from uh, the classic X-Men story Days of Future Past. He, he in another uh, arc, uh, Wolverine was in, in the year 1900 in uh, northern Canada. Wolverine was on his way to save Captain Benedict Xavier, who was uh, who had whose crew had some of his crew, the crew members of the ship he was a captain of had uh, become possessed by Omega Red and had started a mutiny. So we begin in the present. Um, Jean is uh, doing what she can to. So Jean and Charles are running the, the whole uh, operation to get to send Wolverine back in through time, and we get a, a glimpse at the uh, various time periods, which will presumably be uh, shown throughout the uh, series, including the Old West uh, during Wolverine's uh, Department H days, world, as well as World War One, Columbia, which we've seen. And it appears to be the only ones that they're showing. Um, in 1900, though, uh, ben Captain Benedict Xavier is dealing with the uh, his mutinous crew, his possess his mutinous and possessed crew, um, and he seems to be dealing with them quite well, even uh, when Wolverine arrives. However, Omega Red does something surprising and possesses a giant whale. Back in uh, post-war Japan, the fight between Itsu and uh, Logan is continuing. Um, and to be fair, Logan is holding back. Uh, because it, it it's Itsu, you know. And seeing as how and he, is all, he is also presumably trying to prevent, uh, ensure that, his, that Dakin exists. So Itsu, uh, Itsu, possessed by Omega Red, tries to drown Logan, but suddenly the attempt stops as Romulus has shown up and attacked Itsu. Uh, we get a uh, logbook entry on from a, a logbook entry by Sage on timeline anomalies. Original timeline X: Romulus attacks Wolverine and Itsu on the same day that Dak is conceived. Wolverine defeats and shames Romulus. Romulus orchestrates a larger plan of revenge. The Winter Soldier kills Itsu in an effort to draw out Wolverine and return to Madripoor. Romulus tears Dakin from Itsu's womb to raise as his own. Time on Anomaly. Y. Itsu is possessed by Omega Red. Formula. X times Y. By Chaos Theory, Itsu is possession by Omega Red to determine nonlinear system original timeline. Algorithm projections are that uh, Itsu is injured or killed as a result of fighting Wolverine. Dakin ceases to fail to exist. Itsu's injury kills as a result of fighting Romulus. Dakin fails to exist. Wolverine is slowed down as a result of fighting Romulus, and Itsu, and Itsu possessed. Xavier dies. Wolverine is killed as a result of fighting Romulus, and Itsu possessed. And the possibly potential outcome there is uh, cold aging. Action item: stores three per unit in a black hole. Purpose: preservation of, da of data despite timeline fluctuations. Impossible given immediacy of threat. Cancelled. Amended, proposed to Quiet Council in anticipation of future threats. Principal conclusions Itsu cannot die or Dakin will cease to exist. Wolverine cannot linger or Xavier will die and Krakoa will cease to exist. We then have a flashback to the recent to uh, Mikhail and uh, Omega Red, and we see that uh, Mikhail uses, 
utilized the Cerebro Sword to uh, send him back around his trip through time. Uh, in Colombia, Logan's trying to make his way to uh, Xavier. However, Sabretooth is on his tail. Um, in an effort to uh, slow Sabretooth down, Wolverine shoots a beehive, which lands on top on uh, Sabretooth's head, which does slow him down substantially. Back in northern Canada, um, both Ben and Xavier and uh, Wolverine do what they can against the Omega Red Whale. <clears throat> Seemingly stopping it, we have we have a second conversation in the in the cradle between uh, Xavier and Jean Grey. Um, Charles, or between uh, Charles and between Xavier and Jean Grey, but uh, Charles is struggling, um, explaining that the three the, the uplink of the three row sword is erratic. It's like a radio station that that keeps fading in and out, which worries Xavier he's going to miss something essential. Uh, back in Japan, um, Wolverine faces off with Romulus and gives him a severe enough beating that uh, sends him running. Though Wolverine knows that uh, Romul Romulus won't be back. Instead, he'll send the Winter Soldier to finish off Itsu. Afterwards, Itsu's no longer possessed. Wolverine try tries to help her, or tries to talk to her, let her know everything's okay. But as he does so, he's moved forward in time again. Back in Colombia, um, a giant snake slowed Wolverine down on his attempt to save Xavier. The Jean's astral form is there, trying to figure out who Omega Red is possessed. And as Wolverine nears the uh, nears Xavier, who's talking with press about to, trying to protect uh, indigenous peoples of the Amazon. It's revealed that he is not, at that point in time, he is possessed by Omega Red. And that is where the issue ends. Um, I'm a little irritated we only got flashes of some of the other uh, time points, especially the Wild West one that uh, clear, is clearly referenced on the cover here. Um, I would have liked to see at least in the beginning of that in this issue. Uh, to be fair, I'm actually, I'm honestly kind of enjoying ten deaths of Wolverine more so than ten lives. Um, ten deaths feels like a much more important story. I mean, don't get me wrong, the stakes are high with this one, but I, I'm pretty sure we all know how it's going to end, you know? But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and PayPal can be found in the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying, live long and rock hard.